From the perspective of individual program participants, the criteria that we would be using for admission is really only limited to a, de a desire and capacity for uh, on-campus employment. And the types of employment opportunities that individual program participants would be participating in would really only be limited by their individual preferences and capabilities. So as part of Rutgers University, it's our vision that the RCAS would form interdisciplinary partnerships with the various departments and units that exist on campus. Right? I foresee our participants being employed in all aspects of the ca campus community, working in departments such as uh, Rutgers University libraries, dining, facilities, agriculture, food science, athletics, and you know the individual positions within these departments, uh, again, would vary based on individual preference and you know level of capability. One of the barriers that adults with autism often face in engaging in community-based employment is transportation. Even if adult, an adult with autism is able to get a job in the community, it's often difficult to figure out how to get there. Rutgers University is uniquely suited and equipped to provide transportation for our program participants in that uh, the Rutgers bus system is extensive. It provides access to all aspects of the five Rutgers subcampuses here at New Brunswick and beyond. This free campus-based bus system will ensure that our program participants have access to everything that Rutgers University has to offer in the way of amenities, recreational activities, and employment opportunities.